Okay, now I said I wasn't a pro, so I think that is far from being a pro, so I was telling the truth. <laughs> another episode we have moved house in between the two videos that's why and counting it's been almost a month since our last upload yes apologies um, but we have a lovely new garage that we're working out of now it's got electricity and no running in the middle of the night when the marquee blows over so we now we went to where do we go home base and we basically took the paint samples that we wanted and then we used the ever so fancy Dulux colour mixer machine um, because we basically found the colour that we wanted and then we got it in the kind of like finish and then the kind of style of paint that we wanted as well. So, so this is the grey that we want and this is what the door fronts will look like as is primarily going to be made out of plywood. Obviously we don't want a kind of grey everything so we've chosen like this really statement blue for all of the drawer fronts. So yes, paint is done. Um, so now we are onto furniture building because, I mean, you probably can't see the pain in my face, but we have T minus about seven days until the electrician comes. So we are slightly pushed for time now. So yes, let's get back to building the furniture. Okay, so we are now going to finish off building the bed. Here's some pieces that I did earlier. That's probably not the right way to hold it, is it? <laughs> <laughs> so, God, I'm like really nice up and close here. Okay, so let me explain my thought process quickly. You're gonna move your lovely paint out of the way. Specification is, we've got the wheel arch here. We don't want to basically build onto the wheel arch, drill anything into the wheel arch because that will create rust because um, that goes directly into the wheel obviously all the water spits up and we'll have problems down the line what we don't want to do is build a structure over the top of it because when we put our I mean it's not going to be this thick but when we put our slats on top we're just basically building closer and closer to the ceiling um, and I need as much headroom as I can get so what we are going to do is we're going to build a structure next to the wheel arch and then we're going to build our slats over it like that. So essentially you're gonna have a box that goes round here all the way to the back and then that's going to build the main bench section. I will link um, to where we what we got from Wix um, because we've got basically two different types of wood. Um, so this is gonna be all the big bulky framework. So this is 32 centimeters high. I took off that from 32 centimeters and then I think we have 27. So 27 centimeters will be all of the main supports here. And because we want the bench to come out 60 centimeters, um, I've basically just taken six centimeters, taken away that, and then we're gonna have this on top. What we will be doing, because we're gonna have another piece of wood coming along here, we're going to do what I've done here. So we're then gonna use the pocket hole jig to basically drill in these guide holes, which means we can then drill two pieces of wood into one support um, for maximum strength. So now I get to do all of this on camera, so let's go. Okay, now I said I wasn't a pro, so I think that is far from being a pro, so I was telling the truth. Thank <laughs> you. 
now the Friday before the King's Coronation. So we have done, ta-da! So this is going to be the bench which all of our electrics go under. So I've just double checked and sent all the measurements off to the electrician. This is as rock hard as it goes. I also decided just to strengthen up here a little bit by just stiffening some off cuts um, and very terribly drilling it in. Very, very good. Um, and then I had a bit of a last minute alteration, which I'll probably go through in another video, but I'm thinking this is gonna be two sets of different slats, which come out in two sections. And I think for this one, we're gonna do a board that goes over with a hinge. So this opens up and you can get into the electrics a lot easier. But uh, yes, pretty happy with how things are going so far. Gonna be a long weekend. Right, onwards and upwards. Okay, so I may have done a stupid, and after I finished building the bench, I re-measured it, sent the dimensions to the electrician who's building obviously all the electrics. It is about three centimeters too short and he's built it all out. So I basically have to undo, take this out, make this slightly longer, drill it back in, re-drill this slightly further out. I need to make the change, my mistake. We have all of today, potentially some of tomorrow as I'm busy, and then the whole of Monday to get all of this ready. To say it is stressful is an absolute understatement, but no point moaning about it, it's good to work. <laughs> Things are happening. Man, I did not think I could do it. It's looking pretty, look at that. Look at, look at, the, look at the fridge. You can hardly see it because it's so dark in here. Thinking as well, maybe putting a mirror, or kind of like stick a mirror onto there. Kind of like another use for it. So the gas locker will probably go about there. We now just need to do the counter here. Let's see how much we get done today. All right. <laughs> Right, it is the day of, well actually, I should, I should probably blur all of this because it's actually the end of the first day of the electrics being installed. So yes, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Hit the like button, subscribe, all that kind of stuff, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Right, ready? <laughs> Do we both fart at the same time? Probably. <laughs>